Hello, my name is Sky, and uh, border issues. So, uh, the April, Friday, April 25th, 2006, uh, Imperial Valley Press, uh, local article by Victor Morales. So, good job, man. Uh, Mexicali police implicated. Allegation officers are involved in truff drug trafficking. Mexicali. Uh, and those who don't know, uh, Baja California is a peninsula that extends southward uh, from Southern California. On the inland, there is uh, Mexicali. On the other side, Tijuana, which is just south of uh, San Diego. Uh, Mexicali, a Mexican Army general, made public Wednesday allegations that dozens of police in Baja California, including Mexicali, are involved in corruption and narcotics trafficking. Three out of the 11 incidents detailed by General Sergio Aponte Polito commander of the 2nd Military Zone in Baja, California, specifically implicate police officers from Mexicali's Municipal Police and the Baja, California State Police station here. The allegations were published in an open letter printed in the state's major newspapers, including La Cranica and Mexicali, and indicate that strains persist in the relationship between the Army local government agencies and the federal government's effort to fight organized crime and violence. The letter named two Mexicali Municipal Police officers who allegedly protected air shipments of narcotics grounded in Mexicali and bound for the U.S. market for the Ariano Felix Crime Organization. The officers received monthly payments of $4,000 to $5,000 a month, according to the letter. In another incident, four officers from the state police in Mexicali attempted to free a suspected drug trafficker from the, from the custody of the Mexican attorney's office and secure his 700-pound load of marijuana, according to the letter. The letter was a response to Baja California's Chief Prosecutor, Rommel Moreno Manjueres, who challenged Aponte for proof of his earlier allegations of local police corruption. Moreno made no public comment Wednesday, according to reports in La Cranica, but local officials demanded he responded, in consideration of the proven existence of corruption in the different police forces. Or this is all in quotes. Uh, the attorney... Uh, the attorney should offer concrete solutions in a month and not to exceed three, or he is not the adequate person, uh, said Jonathan Diaz uh, Castro, president of the powerful business association La Copromex in Mexicali. Most of the incidents took place in Tijuana and the beaches of Rosarito. In addition to narcotics trafficking, local police allegedly protected human smugglers and bank robbers and extorted money from car thieves and the state's poor. Uh, there's a second article here. Study questions cost of illegal worker crackdown. Uh, Associated Press from Washington. Uh, the government's plan to crack down illegal workers could cost employers more than $1 billion a year in legal workers billions in lost wages, a study commissioned by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce says. Those costs are enough to trigger a federal law that would require the Homeland Security Department to analyze more thoroughly the effect of its proposal, said Richard Belzer, a consultant hired by the chamber to do the study. The department's proposed no-match rule, uh, rule would require employers to fire workers who can't resolve mismatches between their name and social security number. The chamber op opposes the proposal. Okay, so two big things going on. Um, man, oh man. So how <laughs> it's God, it's just it's just nuts, but. Uh, uh, so yet again, what we see is, uh, and there's another article here about uh, conservation of wetlands, the estuary, uh, Imperial Beach, which is uh, actually down in uh, Mexico. Um, more than 90% already lost, but uh, and it's because of uh, farming and uh, also cement lining, because they want to cement line the, uh, the, the waterways down here. Okay, so the <laughs> what does this all say? Well, uh, you have these implications of corruption by Mexican police down in Mexico. You know, Mexico. Now realize these are just corrupt police officers. It's not the de the police department. So if you go down to Mexico, you're not going to be hassled by every cop trying to get money out of you. You know there are some that will do that, and it's you. Can, it's like a luck of the draw if you get that guy or not. But as this is uh, showing, indicating. Uh, the corrupt officers aren't the guys walking the streets because, you know, if, if you're making, if somebody's giving you a payoff of a ton of money, uh, chances are you probably have connections or, you know, you have some cushier assignments or they want you to work in specific places. You know, the, 
if there's a mob running, they don't want a guy walking around the streets. They want a guy in a specific location who's going to do stuff for them. Um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> I'm just thinking Tony Soprano. But, um, yeah, just very bad uh, police. Uh, months ago, the Tijuana Police Department had all their guns taken away because there was a implication that some of the police guns were used in some murders. Uh, so all the guns were taken away, and the police had to be escorted around by armed uh, soldiers to make up for the lack of weapons. Uh, I believe no weapons were found, or if there were, it was just like a, there was a small handful. But I, but I think there were no weapons uh, uh, implicated in uh, the murders. But there were some police officers involved, so go figure. Um, this is... You know, I, I hope that, like, by all of these uh, videos I'm putting up, all the information I'm sharing, that, you know, there is this great corruption going on in Mexico. And it's a very unfair, uneven system. Uh, that's why the people of Mexico are fleeing there. That's why 12 million uh, illegal immigrants live in this country, most of them uh, from Mexico. Because, you know, why live in a crummy country when you can come up here and have something better? Uh, yeah, they're at the bottom of the barrel, but it's bottom of the barrel here is better than where, you know, where they were back home. So consider that. Um, but this other article, that's just, uh, I don't know, I kind of like that because you know, to me it's like, you know, hey, <laughs> you, know, you have a system that develops uh, and it's been growing for years and to the point where it becomes a 12 million people living in your country, you know, and the country's not falling apart, you know, right away, but you know, slow thing, but even then, that's, eh. I don't know, it's interesting, so, you take the information, work with it what you want, but, if they say, uh, it costs employers more than one billion dollars a year, and legal workers billions, in lost wages, because of the crackdown on legal workers, so, I don't know, you know, is the, <laughs> is the cure better, you know, than the poison, you know, so, you gotta wonder.